this is a JFET. This is JFET the cat. These are also JFETs. JFET transistors. Today on hack number 24, we're going to play with some JFET transistors. And JFET the cat. Hey, you. He's the kitty. Okay, let's get to work. I've got a piezo electric pickup that I want to put in this acoustic guitar of mine. And a JFET amp is well suited for that because it's built for high impedance inputs and a piezo element measures. The best I could do on this one, because they vary as you touch them, uh, was about 20 meg ohms. So it's ideal uh, to be run through JFETs. You can hear it's pretty sensitive to being touched. So if I put it right about there, so we get a pretty nice sound. And let me show you where that sound is coming from. There's the piezo pickup. Whoa. Runs to this little breadboarded amplifier, which is uh, a JFET transistor. And you can see it's sitting nestled right in there. It's got a few capacitors and resistors surrounding it, and I'll explain a little bit about that in a minute on the schematic I have here. But uh, you need to know a little more about JFETs because they're a little different from regular transistors. JFET stands for Junction Field Effect Transistor, and uh, later they became MOSFETs, metal uh, oxide silicone, silicon, metal oxide silicon field effect transistors. Wow, that's a mouthful. Anyway, uh, JFETs don't have an emitter, a base, and a collector. They have a gate, drain, and source. So we'll talk about that now. All right, JFETs, JFET transistors. They do not have an emitter, a base, and a collector. What they do have is a gate, drain, and source. You can think of it this way. Uh, in this instance, by the way, this is an N channel. So it's connected, the source is connected to negative, although it can flow both ways. That's for another discussion. But anyway, think of a JFET like this. When you open the gate, you allow current to flow from the source through the drain. Pretty easy way to look at it. So when voltage is going into the gate, current can flow through here. The ability of a JFET to amplify is described as uh, something called transconductance. And uh, because of the high input impedance, the gate is considered an open circuit and draws no power from the source. So they draw very little power at all. And even though no voltage appears at the gate, a substantial amount of current will flow from the drain to the source. And it doesn't really turn off until this actually goes several volts negative. So R3 here is essentially to... Uh, not so much bias the JFET as to match the impedance to the input and make sure that the uh, the gate is off when there's no input coming in here. So this is uh, for an audio application so there's a uh, 0.1 microfarad decoupling capacitor and then on the output which is right here 4.7 microfarad decoupling capacitor the uh, 10 ohm resistor and the 100 microfarad capacitor is there to decouple everything from the power. There's an optional bypass capacitor, and I went ahead and installed that on this one. Uh, basically brings everything to maximum gain if you install that. So now let's uh, put this thing uh, to work. Maybe go ahead and put this on a circuit board, this little amplifier. And I'm going to uh, mount the piezo that you saw earlier into the acoustic guitar, put a jack on it, and uh, put this thing in a little box. And then I'll have a tiny little amplifier that I can connect to a bigger amplifier and be able to play my acoustic guitar amplified with a built-in piezo pickup. So, where the hell did I get the piezo pickup? Well, that would be the next thing I'll show you. Ah, the mighty Roomba vacuum cleaner. Source of many, many parts for a lot of my hacks. Well, guess what? On the bottom of just about every Roomba, underneath all these brushes and stuff, is something they call the dirt sensor, which are two piezo 
elements right here. And uh, a piezo element is basically two pieces of metal with a piece of ceramic between them and when they sense a vibration they output a voltage. Now if you tear into the Roomba a little further you pull out this little module that has the, the pickup in it and if you take that part further here's some circuitry we don't need, some shielding we don't need and in here is the little pickup itself and that's about all there is to it see right there it's a pretty thin little device it has uh, two leads on it and the positive is the center one most of the time this one's the negative and so I just took that and soldered it to some leads connected it to the amplifier here and now what I'm going to do is epoxy this to the inside of the acoustic guitar run it to an output jack and then we can run it through this amplifier and I can run that into a bigger amplifier and I'll have a little uh, piezo pickup and preamp for my acoustic guitar. Let's get to work. Right then, uh, first thing is let's get the wires off from the pickup that I soldered on for my breadboard prototype. And we'll tin up some leads that will go inside the guitar. Okay. Put our little pickup in the third hand tool. Handy little device. Solder on the negative. Solder, as the rest of the world says. 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 Us Americans pronounce things funny, don't we? solder. That's okay because my old boss at the last automotive shop I worked at here in the south, he called it sorter. He asked me one day if I could sorter. So I guess that sounds just as silly to me as solder does to everyone else out there that says solda, solder. So there we go. We have that all sordered, soldered, soldered up. And now we can put this inside the acoustic guitar. Oops, uh, not quite yet. Let's put the uh, quarter inch mono phone jack on these wires first before we go mounting this into the guitar. Get that soldered, soldered on there. Now we're ready to get this mounted in the guitar. Okay, let's mount up a uh, 3 8 flat bottom bit in my cordless drill. I use a flat bottom bit because it tends to uh, go through wood a little bit cleaner. I don't want to do a nasty rip and tear here. So, <laughs> And there goes the cat after the chickens again. That would be JFET. He, uh, he thinks he can chase chickens. He's, he's learning that that's not an option for cats. Right about here is where I'm going to put this pickup, or uh, pickup, uh, the uh, the output jack. I put it right here, and so here we go. I'm going to drill a hole into a perfectly good guitar. And that's all there is to that. Let's make sure it fits. Yes, it does. Okay. Now I need to loosen some string so I can reach down inside here, glue the pickup right about there after a little experimentation like you saw earlier. Put the output jack here and we'll be ready to connect it up. I have some epoxy mixed up. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, just plain old 70% uh, rubbing alcohol and clean the back of the pickup a little bit. Make sure there's no yuck on there from my fingers. Make sure that's good and dry. And let's get a little bit of epoxy. It won't take very much. Smear a little around on the back of there. 
let's just keep this to a minimum. Um, I would think less is better because too much will just uh, kind of stiffen up everything. Now, it's just a matter of getting it in place. And there it is. And now we sit here and hold it and wait. And wait. And wait. It doesn't take long. Five minutes or so, it'll be set up enough I can let go. Okay, all set. Time for a test. Let's plug this in. We have power to our amp. Yep. You can hear the uh, the pickups doing its thing. Time to get the strings back on and check it out properly. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. I got a little 60 cycle hum coming out of the speaker because there's no ground lead on the power supply side of this. Uh, it's a studio monitor. There's also a lot of stray capacitance and exposed circuitry on the breadboard. And so I'm getting a little 60 cycle hum, but uh, the pickup sounds really good. I'm real pleased with that. That sounds pretty all right. This little JFET is well suited for high impedance inputs and a Paizo is a very high impedance device. If you have other high impedance things you'd like to preamplify, build one of these and have at it. I will include a link to uh, a really good tutorial and discussion about JFET uh, amplifiers. It'll be right down there in the description of the video. Click on that and you'll learn a whole lot more. So let's, uh, let's play a little bit of blues stuff here and give you an idea how this sounds. <laughs> said a little. Well, anyway, um, Hack 24 was a lot of fun. Now I have a nice little pickup in my acoustic guitar and I can plug in anywhere I go and play along. So, until next time, y'all keep on hacking while I play me some Nirvana bass lines on a guitar.